Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Introduction to the Deuterocanonical Books, Origins, Acceptance, and Importance. Today, we're venturing into an arena of biblical literature that remains both a mystery and a treasure for many, the Deuterocanonical Books. To set the stage, let's first demystify the term Deuterocanonical. Rooted in Greek, it translates to the second canon, a fitting descriptor for these texts that seem to navigate the spaces between canons and traditions. These books, as many scholars would vouch for, hold the unique privilege of being a bridge. They link the narratives of the Old Testament to the teachings of the New Testament. The time span of their composition, stretching mainly from the 2nd century BCE to the 1st century CE, was an era marked by political unrest, cultural shifts, and spiritual evolution. Among the revered texts of the Deuterocanonical books, we find Tobit, a beautiful tale that combines familial love, divine intervention, and faith. Judith emerges as a symbol of bravery and strategy. Then, there's the wisdom of Solomon and Syrah, poetic and profound exploring the nature of wisdom and righteousness. Baruch and the two books of Maccabees take us on a historical journey, reflecting resistance, faith, and cultural resilience. But what gave rise to these texts? Why were they born during this particular juncture in history? Their emergence can be attributed to the changing landscape of the Jewish diaspora influenced by the Hellenistic culture on one side and grappling with their identity on the other. These writings thus became a mirror reflecting their struggles, hopes, and negotiations with changing times. However, as with all reflections, interpretations varied. The acceptance of the deuterocanonical books was far from unanimous. Some early Jewish sects regarded them as valuable, while others hesitated. The division wasn't just restricted to Jewish traditions. The early Christian church, especially in regions influenced by the Eastern Orthodox tradition, revered these texts for their deep spiritual and theological insights. This varied acceptance was further spotlighted with the translation of the Septuagint, where these books found a place in the illustrious Greek rendition of the Hebrew Bible. Their presence in such a monumental translation could have solidified their universal acceptance, but historical events had other plans. As the centuries progressed, numerous councils and religious assemblies debated the place of these books. Some, like the Council of Carthage in 397, advocated for their inclusion in the Christian canon. Yet, winds of change during the Reformation saw them being sidelined in the Protestant tradition. Beyond the debates and discussions, the inherent worth of these books is undeniable. They are historical jewels illuminating the socio-political and spiritual thoughts of an era that acted as a crucible for modern Judeo-Christian beliefs. The themes they tackle, resistance, wisdom, morality, divine interaction, and more, echo many core tenets of other universally accepted biblical texts. So, why should we as scholars and seekers venture into the study of the deuterocanonical books because they offer a richer, fuller understanding of biblical history. They introduce us to heroes and heroines whose tales inspire.
to reflections that challenge our understanding of wisdom and to narratives that bridge the old with the new. In wrapping up this introductory session, it is essential to underline that the deuterocanonical books, while not universally accepted, possess an undeniable depth and richness. As we progress in our series, we'll unwrap each book, immersing ourselves in their narratives, teachings, and wisdom. Let our collective quest for knowledge and understanding continue as we delve deeper into the treasures of biblical literature in our subsequent sessions. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. As we close today's enlightening journey through the deuterocanonical books, let's take a moment to reflect on the remarkable resilience and timeless wisdom these texts offer. From Tobit's devout integrity to Judah's heroic cunning, and from the reflective depth of Solomon to Sirach's practical guidance, we have traveled through stories that transcend time and offer insights into living a life anchored on faith and morality. Next time, we'll continue to unearth the treasures of Tobit, Judith, Wisdom, and Sirach, delving into their contributions to our understanding of divine providence and human agency. These narratives, rich with historical and spiritual depth, challenge us to live with purpose and lead with conviction. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to join our next session. You won't want to miss out as we further unravel the intricate tapestry of wisdom that these ancient texts weave for us today. And then keep reflecting on the profound messages these books have imparted and let their enduring legacy inspire your daily life. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture where wisdom meets the challenge of reality.